So this carpet's called Universe. The inspiration for this carpet was from a, a Rumi poem exploring the duality within us all, the dark and the light, joy and sorrow, the, all, all the opposites we have within us and trying to explore that you can't have one with the other. You can't have joy without sorrow. Uh, you can't have um, light without dark or dark without light. So each of the opposites are embedded in each other. So was, that was the inspiration. So I just started off with, you know, the darkness and the primordial spaces where creation may have blasted out of in the first place and then the light opposite to that also could be seen as goodness and evil or, you know, just the opposites and duality that we all have in ourselves. And then trying to bring about the whole picture, so all of the the opposites colliding with each other and two of the sides coming together and creating this uh, the drama of life in this carpet. So universe, because when I started splashing the paint, it started to feel like a big bang and the more I threw it, the more exciting it got. Um, so once again, um, started off with a background and then just through colours. Then planets started to evolve. Um, and then there were stars that then became the Milky Way. So as as I painted, it just um, created itself, really. Um, but I did start off with the notion of duality and then wanted to bring this, uh, bring it all together as one symphony of sh- colours and shape and nature, yeah. This carpet's got 36 colours. You know, there's a lot of colours. Some carpets are in, in, in Iran and places like that, they do make carpets up to 42, 45 colours, but, you know, 36 a lot. And so there's no pattern or there's no repetition. So they have to be really watching the design sheet to keep up with the nuances and changes throughout this carpet. No wonder it took three people a year to weave. So this experience of having my artwork translated into carpet was about art and the artisan coming together, you know, the artist, myself, and then the artisans and the weavers and all the and the guy who designs the carpet on computer coming together. So I'd send them an art image. He'd have to look on his screen to see if the colours they have on this chart was matching the colours that I had in the painting. If it wasn't there, he would have to create a new colour tone and a new name for the colour. He would then check with me, is this the right colours, ma'am? And then I'd say, yeah, it go ahead. And then they'd dye, dye all the colours for the carpet. and then. Each colour has a symbol and each colour, each line at a time is written on a sheet of paper. So the top line might have lots of blacks and a bit of white and they have black, 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 white, white in a line, another line. So each line has got a whole line of symbols to represent these colours. So they've got a number but they also have a symbol that they follow. Yeah, This carpet. It took a year of actual weaving to get it finished. Look at the work in this. I mean, every single speck and daub and flick of paint they've picked up. I don't have the original design right here, but you see it's identical to the design. They've followed it to the absolute detail. It's quite magical, beautiful work.